everybody, it's your boy Weezy F Mamba and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate all the love and support. We are back at it again with another Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Game video. Today's agenda, we will be going over the July 29th, 2024 patch notes that dropped earlier this afternoon. And we will be discussing the patch that comes out on August 1st, Thursday. That's one of the first things we're gonna touch base on and uh, we're gonna get to it. Before we do, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button. Over 70% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. What the fuck you doing with your life? Come on, man, hook a brother up. It helps out with the algorithm so much. I would really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and pop on over and get right into the live scene. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, a couple of things to go over. First things first, I finally got dark mode on the computer, boys and girls. Uh, no more bright white background uh, for Gun Interactive's um, page here, dude. I don't know why, it's pure white. Uh, it's wild and it's bright and it's, it hurts my eyes. Uh, let's get to it, dude. Written by Sid, you guys know the deal. Shout out Sid. Patch notes, August 1st, 2024. Read about the upcoming changes, tunes, and fixes for our August 1st badge. <clears throat> the following fixes are for our upcoming August 1st, 2024 patch. It's scheduled to begin rolling out on console and PC at roughly 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. August 1st is a Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, these roll out on Tuesdays, which would be tomorrow, but this was delayed until August 1st. Um, not a big deal, but weird, right? Uh, the Cook's Filler Up outfit will also be available for $2.99 United States dollar. Three bucks, we get to see Cook's arms, and um, I think it looks great. People are still roasting this. Fucking keep in mind and always remember that these skins look fucking 10 times better in the game than they actually do on these social media posts. In game, they look incredible and you all know it. So stop the cap. Cook outfit, August 1st. <clears throat> Patch notes, museum mode is here, ladies and gentlemen. Random? I think not. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we were digging around in the game files and uh, we discovered uh, a couple of things. So now I am still very, very intrigued. Uh, we discovered that museum mode was found in the game files, obviously a long time ago, um, but updated in the game files last week. On top of that, something else, and I really want your guys' opinions on this and how this is going to work. So this is SteamDB, okay? And these are the updates for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, all of these, four hours ago, four hours ago, 19 hours ago, yesterday, twice, three days, four days ago, like 10 fucking times, five, six, six, six. Whoa, pause, pause on that. But as you can see, we got a bunch that says museum mode. This was six days ago. We knew that they were updating stuff throughout. However, there is something very, very interesting that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Museum mode? So tell me, what is this? Mercury mode. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially a hidden game mode coming to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it is labeled as mercury mode. Why hasn't this been discussed? Why hasn't this been talked about? What on earth? could Mercury Mode possibly be? And we saw this at that exact time of what was going on, Mercury Mode, seven days ago. Look at this, guys, okay? I mean, it's all over the place. So uh, we've known Museum Mode has been worked on for multiple weeks, and the fact that we're getting it is awesome, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys, this isn't the only mode we're getting, dude. Mercury Mode, maybe an announcement soon, uh, what's gonna happen? Uh, hopefully. Uh, let's check. Let's keep moving. 
Museum mode is essentially going to be the virtual cabin experience that you guys experienced in Friday the 13th. Um, there is a museum mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, I believe it's 3. Um, if you guys remember Modern Warfare 3 at the end in the epilogue or whatever, there was a little bit of an extra mission where you're literally in a museum and uh, you can play around and uh, get destroyed by the 90,000 waves of enemies. Um, it's essentially something like that. Uh, you get to freely explore the map, the mad, <laughs> the mad, the map and macabre of the iconic family house. Along the way, you'll discover puzzles and facts pulled from the history of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But will you survive? And what will be left of you? Players will find museum mode listed in the main menu in game. Okay, this is great. Um, adding additional content to the game is always good for me. Um, I fucking love single player shit. I love exploring. I love lore. So I'm going to have a field day with museum mode. On our next stream, we will be, or on our stream that after the update, the first update stream, we will be um, <laughs> exploring museum mode. Okay. Changed. We've made some changes. Suffocating grandpa grip perk. Suffocating grip grandpa perk. <laughs> the grandpa perk suffocating grip will now activate at level one. Suffocating grip was previously a level two grandpa perk. Yeah, 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 dude. Okay. Let me discuss this. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, first off, great. Um, we now have some incentive. You can't paywall essentially by grandpa feeding blood. Um, all the decent perks behind level two and three. You gotta give something, something. Um, my assumption was that nobody escapes hell would have been level one and suffocating grip would stay at level two. I am not sure why this was touched. Um, es nobody escapes hell needs to be number one, dude. It needs to be a level one grandpa perk. What's the point in having locks be harder if they can just pop them off before we get grandpa to level two? Um, just remember, I am never going to feed, okay? This is just it. Feeding is still a sell in this game. This is my opinion, but at least we have officially gotten some updates. Um, it's a little bit better for us now here as family mains, right? Um, nobody escapes hell has moved from level three to level two. Okay, again, this is a good change, but it's not a great change. It needs to be level one and Suffa was just fine at level two. Okay. Brute strength, who the fuck even asked about this? No one, no one, no one. Brute strength, we've tuned the grandpa perk brute strength accordingly. We have slightly increased the melee damage brute strength applies. Brute strength is a level two grandpa perk. Tuned, swinging for the fences. Once again, who the fuck asked for this? We have tuned the grandpa perk swinging for the fences accordingly. Reduces stamina consumption on melee attacks by 25%. Previously, swinging for the fences reduced stamina consumption on melee attacks by 20%. So we got a little bit of a buff. 5% is literally nothing. So you'll probably never even tell the difference. Um, and here we are. <clears throat> now, not only did suffocating grip get moved down to level one, but it also had a change. We've tuned the grandpa perk. Suffocating grip accordingly, the close encounter minigame is easier by 25%. Previously, suffocating grip made the close encounter minigame easier by 20%. So, now family, okay, gets another buff. Now this 5% going the other way is going to definitely be seen, okay? Button taps, button taps, button taps. 25%. Uh, Guess what? Maybe Grapple Mania is a little bit off now, dude, because it's been wild, man. It's been wild out there. Um, let's move on. Suffocating Brick applies to all family members when Perk is equipped. So it's no longer the Perk Holder, uh, which has been a while, but whatever. Oh, Lord have mercy. 
<clears throat> exterior alarms. We have tuned the Grandpa Perk exterior alarms accordingly. <clears throat> when active, all critical doors and gates are highlighted for 10 seconds if open. Previously, it only highlighted the doors for five seconds. So now we have doubled the time that the door is highlighted. That is a massive buff. Believe it or not, it is still level three, but it's a massive buff. And I can't believe it, right? Let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think of this? Is this insane? Absolutely wild. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I just, I hate it. all of this is sour to me because I just don't think we should be paywalled behind leveling feeding grandpa. Uh, nobody escapes hell. We've tuned grandpa perk. Nobody escapes hell accordingly. The mini game for locked doors is 50% more difficult for all victims when previously it was 40%. This is absolutely insane. Insane. Nobody escapes hell paired with um, uh, uh, security pins, okay? Nobody escapes hell with security pins. You might as well go down the street and pick up dinner because you're never going to get that fucking lock off. You can go down to the flea market, okay? It's going to be still trying to get that lock off by the time you get back. It's crazy. But guess what? I'm a family guy, dude. You know what I mean? I like family. So all this is good, but again, not for me. Maybe in solo queue it'll help. Because we're not gonna feed, dude. We're never gonna feed. Um, excited grandpa. We've tuned to grandpa perk. Excited grandpa. The delay between grandpa's sonar ability is reduced by 25% at levels three, four, and five. Previously, the delay was 20%. So they buffed excited grandpa. Don't have all day. We have tuned the grandpa perk. Don't have all day. Stamina drain while sprinting is decreased by 25. It was 20. <clears throat> okay. Victims, inventory, and hands, traps. These have been fixed. We have fixed an issue where victim players who disarmed an electric trap on fuse box, generator, or the valve pressure pipe, valve pressure pipe, would see a hands trap Appear in their inventory. Electric traps will no longer be able to appear in a victim's player's inventory. Okay, that's huge. That's good. Needed to be fixed because it, it limited you to one thing. Um, it's just what it was. Uh, texture of wells on the mill. We have fixed an issue where a black texture was present inside one of the wells on the mill map when viewing from the basement. This well is located in dig room storage. Lighting on the mill. We fixed an issue where the lighting in the fields area resulted in unnatural and muddy looking lights on characters. We have fixed a lighting issue on the mill night where the red light on the ground floor was reflecting off props incorrectly. For any existing or persistent issues, please use the support site. Thanks for your continued support and patience. Keep the conversation going on our official subreddit. Take r slash TX Chainsaw Game, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All right, guys. Um, this is a cook, dude. Let's be real. This is a cook patch. However, um, I still think we're looking in the wrong direction here, okay? Yes. These are great changes, okay? It's given the family a little bit more of a shot. Feeding isn't as detrimental as it was prior, especially the last two weeks. However, it still is not addressing the proficiency, the choose fight, the proficiency now on the battery, which is way over the top, and the game mechanics that family members have to go through in order to be successful. I personally think that we should have more interaction instead of me rotating and guarding and watching. Yes, we're playing defense, but you guys understand what I mean, right? Like sitting cook on top of the fuse box the entire game. How is that fun to somebody? Um, there's just got to be more immersive ways. Um, 
as far as victim gameplay, it needs to be more of a challenge, dude. Like, again, all of this bars, these changes are being made for solo queue based on solo queue. They need to be talking to people that are in parties. They need to be watching people that are in three and four stacks and base their balancing off of that. Not basing it off of Reddit. You know what I mean? Um, it's hard to ba it's ba it's hard to balance asims. I got to give it up to 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 gun. Um, it is what it is, man, and this is how it is. <laughs> I mean, that's literally the best I can put it. Um, it's tough. This is not an easy job for them. Okay, and as much as we want to gripe and talk shit, it ain't easy for them. Okay. Uh, anyways, that's the end of the patch notes. I'm glad that I was able to get a video in. You guys got my opinion on things. Um, we're looking in the wrong direction, but it's a step in the right way. Okay. Um, we're stepping backwards <laughs> to the correct location, if that makes sense. Um, all right. So, again, thank you guys so much for being here, for checking out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Are these W patch notes? Are these L patch notes? Are you mutual? Do you not give a fuck and only care about museum mode right now? Let me know in the comment section. Drop a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button. You guys know the deal. Don't fuck around. Okay? Let's get it done. I love you guys so much. And we'll see you on the next video. Y'all have a good one. Peace out.